John Luke, I can't believe you're going to college. It seems like you just got out of high school. Okay, he did just get out of high school. He's on to bigger and better things. Well, I don't know about bigger and better, but he's going on to other things. <laughs> We're gonna miss him. Yep. The time has finally come to send John Luke to college. So we're hitting the road tomorrow to take him and his wife to their new home in Virginia. Little Simba, seemed like yesterday I was holding you up like this. Aww. Yeah, that was yesterday. Was it? These kids grow up so fast. I just kind of wish they were staying a little closer to home than Liberty University. Before long, you'll be having kids, teaching right, them stuff. All right, Mr. Memory Lane, I need a burger. All right. <laughs> Good talk, John Luke. I mean, Virginia's like a 14-hour drive. And that's a long time to be in an RV with your family, especially my family. So let's get this straight. What time are we leaving to Nashville? Hey, we're leaving at 6 o'clock. We're going to Nashville? No, we're not going. Tomorrow? We're, we're not going. We're going. Yeah. We're not as in you. No, y'all got to take Not me. you. Well, we're taking John Luke and Mary Kate to Liberty. I oh, know, that's fine. We're yep. going to Liberty so Cole can see it, and we're visiting Nashville to check on Reed in his new place. And meet up with my buddy Cole. Then, hey, you got to take me. Because, look, Stop. I'm learning how to play the guitar, and Stop. I'm fixing to become a rock star. Stop. OK, I'm going to knock. Nashville socks off. Wow. So you've been playing a guitar for like two weeks. I know it, but I'm good already. Look, guys, there's different phases of life. You're a kid, you're an adult, and then you're old. Hey, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm at the old part. Okay. You can book him in at all the nursing homes in the area. Hey. hey. Bingo parlor. I'd be good at nursing what? homes. He'd be out at the nursing Y'all gonna service. regret saying that when I'm a star. The man wants to be a rock star. Come I, on. Look, I mean, it's my last shot, boys. I could get killed by a comet tomorrow. You never know. Getting on ain't that bad. Because, number one, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I'm at that age. All right? Just give me a chance. That's all I'm saying. Y'all well, going to Nashville anyway? I mean, fine. But be prepared to carry some boxes when we get to Virginia, because that's, that's the main that's thing we're doing. I'll help you unload John Luke and Mary Kate. Si, yeah. you're going to Nashville. There you go. All right. Corey, he's That's in. Stella. Look out, Nashville. Silas Merritt Robertson is coming to town, and old age is coming with him. Attention, everybody. Gonna give a little speech uh, for John Luke and Mary Kate. So they're heading off to school, happily married, and um, we'll be driving a truck up there with Cy si now. 6 a.m. Um, I'll see y'all at the butt crack of dawn. So much. Great, Cy. Si. All right, so we went in with a toast to John Luke and Mary Kate. Cheerio. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to be a rock star, huh? I got a face for music, buddy. So you got a face for radio, I believe. Happy birthday. Happy. You're seven today. Uh-huh. When the rest of the family gets back from their trip, we're going to do a big birthday party. But today, we're going to celebrate with just us. Jeff, you I blew it out. No, I didn't. I can't believe our baby boy, River, is seven years old today. What do you want to do for your birthday, buddy? I want to eat this cake. It seems like yesterday, I was holding that little peanut in my arms, and now he's so grown up. Do you want to maybe go skating or bowling? Nah. We're going to have like a really big blowout next weekend, but today's his actual birthday, so we're going to do a little something special. I want to make a superhero movie. Or we can just do something completely weird and random. I showed him some of my old Duck Commander movies. Like hunting DVDs, maybe? I want to be a assassin. I've never heard of that superhero. Well, he's a new one. Is he good or a bad person? He's a complicated person. So he murders people? Uh-uh. Does what he has to do to get paid and to do good. Assassin. <laughs> This will be fun. Tomorrow, we make a movie called Assassin. Assassin. You are definitely my son. You came from my loins. Inappropriate. Smile, Willie. Sam, so driving. Smile. 
Hot. Pick up. Punch. We there? Stop. I need a bathroom. Oh, great. <laughs> yep. I ain't pulling out. Hey, it's unsafe for me to try to walk back to the bathroom, OK? It's dangerous. You got a point. Yeah. Not only not only for myself, it's dangerous for those that I'm walking by. Oh, oh great. That, that's OK? A... You going to pull over or not? No, I'm not pulling right. over. Hey, I guess I'm going to have to use my teacup. That's disgusting. Now all the women, close your eyes. What? <laughs> There's a sign that says, school starting, school for all ages. And it's open. This is my dad on trips, reading all the signs. He reads every sign. So you don't have to read every sign that we Oh, yeah. Have. Yeah, that was a good yeah. one back there. Civil War Trail. Huh. And there's a cannon on top of the hill. Pennsylvania Avenue. Ford Avenue. Broadway. Yep. Are we having fun yet on this road trip? All right, that's what I'm talking about. This place looks great. A very, um, sci like story. Yeah. All uh, right. Oh. Oh, uh, y'all like know that. the statement, the clothes make the man? <laughs> hey, we've hit the mother load, buddy. Five minutes into Nashville, and Corey and Sadie have already found a clothing store to check out. But it's not them I'm worried about. It's ZZ Flop and his big dreams. Jackpot. Hurry up, we gotta go see Colt. Sign with ambition is like Gollum with his precious. It's unpredictable and kind of creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna try on a few things real quick. Basically, I'm just trying to keep from spending my entire trip in Nashville on size delusions. It's like my two worst things in the world, trying on clothes and being stuck with size combined. Oh, look, hey, you can't expect nothing from somebody that ain't an artist. Knucklehead. Okay, boys. The camo pants are gone. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. That is disturbing. <laughs> disturbing. Hey. You have the, hey. You have the tiniest calves I've ever hey. seen in my life. Oh, shut up. Now I know why you don't wear shorts. It's just two bones. <laughs> oh, hush. Si, hurry up. We gotta go. Hey. 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 So I'm fixing to leave, right? And we're leaving you in this store. Willie. Hey, you can't rush sexy, son. Ugh. Most men, when they get my age, OK, and they hit their midlife crises, the next thing you know, they lose their mind. Hey, but if you ask me, OK, I'm fixing to hit life's sweet spot. I'm going to order me about five to $10,000 worth of stuff and charge it to you. So I told you I was spending $100. That's it. Hey, the socks I got on cost $100. I'm like a caterpillar fixing the inner cocoon. And then, voila, next thing you see, I'm a beautiful butterfly with the voice of an angel, OK, and the guitar skills of Stevie Vay Ron. OK, I'm out there ready, boys. I'll be cooler than the other side of the pillow. I like it. Come on. Come on up here. I don't like it. This trip could transform my life and music, OK, as we know it, forever. All right. What do you think? It's a little too flashy. What? But not in a good way flashy. It might be a little overkill. You look like a cartoon character. It needs a little more pizzazz. Interesting shirt. Let's go with no camo pants. OK. You already tried that on. I don't support lunacy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, this is the one. OK, here we go. Look here. The man formerly known as Cy si no longer exists. Nice. Love it. I like it. Perfect. Now you're looking at the royal flush. OK, oh, I yeah. I like it. Hey, Willie, you do have your credit card, right? Sir, no. Put it on the credit card. So exactly what are we doing here, uh, Jeff Cove? That's a great question. And as the director, I can answer that. We are making a movie for River for his birthday entitled The Assassin. What? Basically, the movie is an evil wizard capture the princess using foul henchmen and River, the assassin, rescues the princess. What? I'm super pumped about River's movie. Um, as you can see, I have this. 
cool. And it's gonna be like a low budget passion project because I really don't have the resources to do anything else. Everybody's got a part. Dad, you will be playing the evil wizard. You guys are henchmen. Sort of like I'm coaching a football team with some tennis players. They're all about their rackets and their fuzzy balls. They're not into pigskins, helmets, knocking people's heads off. Mom, you're a wizardess. Scylla will be playing the president. Woo! These are my assistants. I need some water. Fight on the set, people. Hey. But I'll take what I can get, which is pretty much the C team. And my smoking hot, beautiful wife is the princess. I would say D, but I got a thing for the princess. All right, Dad. This is your staff. You got one line. My heewee jeewee stick. That's actually your staff. Looks more like a broom, doesn't it? You basically, you got one line. Thou shalt not pass. You're on the wrong road. <laughs> yep. Or just, thou shalt not pass. Don't go down that road. I got it. Thou shalt not pass. It's a good line. Pause. Paul. Pause. Pause. All right, and now, please welcome River the Assassin. Everybody clap. Yeah! Oh. Woo! Yeah! Woo. Yes. Do your cartwheel. Wow. Do your round off. Man, I got Whoa. chills. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! That's what Aunt Mama's talking about. That was pretty good. Are you an assassin or a cheerleader? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, he'll get you later for that. Hey, yeah! Hey. Ooh, we've been practicing. Easy, easy. Y'all ready to make the movie? He don't have superpowers. Get him, assassin. River of pain. <laughs> He's a mean one. Cole, this is awesome, man. So the video's out? Cut them all, Jack. It's worldwide, man. Oh, man, that's awesome. It's unbelievable. Good? People are going crazy. You did good, too, man. You might be another music uh, career for you. I don't think I'll quit my day job. Speaking about quitting a day job, I'm thinking about getting into the music biz. Well, you, what's your artist name going to be? Is, is it going to be Cy? In Nashville, I'm going to be known as the Royal Flush. The Royal Flush. Why the Royal Flush? Because I, I like poker. There's been way worse ideas than that, I'll be honest with you. There you go. We're at my buddy Colt's studio, and Cy is wasting no time trying to kickstart his music career. Cy, you look like a dead guy. Hey, look, I'm networking here, son, OK? Look, I'm all for Cy pursuing his dreams. I just wish his dream was something a little more realistic. Me and you down like four flat tires. Oh, oh, right to the bottom. I'm not trying to be mean, but Cy is a little past his prime. And that's putting it gently. I mean, the man can't even tell a full story without totally losing his train of thought or taking a bathroom break. Hey, y'all too like music. What would you, what do you think? Cy, si, you'll be just like T-Swizzle. That's what I was thinking. Keith Wiggle? T-Swizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Who is he? You have a lot to learn about your new industry, Cy. Si. The music industry ain't exactly a business where old men become stars. When's the last time you can remember a 66-year-old guy winning Best New Artist of the Year? Never. I just had a, just a brainstorm, OK? Look, Royal Flush, OK? And here's the new album. Right, Rhinestone is the new black. That ain't bad. Well, let's see. Uh, they call me Cy, y'all. I spit that country grandma. I drink that sweet tea. Grew up in Louisiana. I'm like the poker king. They call me Royal Flush. I spit that country grammar. So Willie, just hush. How about that? <laughs> there you go. All right, so I did that. Now you do do what I just did. Hey, look, this rapping thing, it's easier than I thought, OK? It's just, you know, you're telling a story. Look, the other night, we're at Jace's house, OK? We deal with cards out, OK? I got pocket tens. Jace's got pocket jacks. Hey, he raises me 50. I bump him a hundo. <laughs> OK, the other two knuckleheads in the hand, they fold because they can't stand the heat in the kitchen. OK, Jace gets up and says, I've got to go to the restroom. Wait. I said, hold it. The hand is going on, and you can't do that, OK? Is Play this a song, cards. or are you describing an actual hey. poker game? No, well, this is a song, but it was actually a poker game, too. OK. 
Okay, this is real. I mean, real. you may be onto something. Oh, I no, mean, this okay, is I'm real, sorry. okay? Keep going. Go, 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 go. Hey, even Colt Ford couldn't keep up my rhymes. Okay, we waited to the river, and Jay says, I'm all in. I flopped a set of tens, so I said, you lose, you idiot. Nailed it. Ah, good job. Wow, I can't believe how fast you picked that up. I don't know what just happened. All right, word to your mother. Maybe I can get you up on stage or something. You never know. I mean, that could be your big debut right there. Oh, I wish we could do that. But we got to get the kids to Lynchburg. Uh, look, hey, I'll have your people call my people. Look, I'll just text you. No, I don't have a cell phone. Put them in their spots. All right, You're are we right ready? There. I'm right here. OK. Get down the scene. We ready? The princess cries where I'll take one. First shot, Jess, Jess you just start going, ah. Thou shalt not pass. Not yet. I need this three shot. What? I might kick you on go, accident. Go, go, Help! Help, assassin! Save me! OK, OK. Was, that not, was it not believable? What do we do? My bad. Forgot to press record. I want this movie to be great for River, but I think it's about time for Jeff to take it down a notch on the whole director thing. Help! You'll never Help! get away! Ah, you'll never get away. Good, good. Ah! It's not like we're professional actors, especially Phil. I'm not sure if he even knows what's going on right now. Ready, go. Thou shalt not pass. Yeah, not yet, Dad. I think it's about time for Spielberg Robertson to wrap it up before I lose all feeling in my arms. Does that hat stink? Right. And so I can slap Martin. Cut! Oh, ridiculous. All right, moving on. All right, so we're on break. Wow. We got about three more scenes to shoot. Thou shalt not pass. Hold on, Dad. I hadn't started recording yet. <laughs> Where is our house? I think that's it. Well, like, the rest of it. It looks like a bunker. Marriage is like a house. Uh. <laughs> yep. Now that John Luke is married and graduated high school, he's officially leaving boyhood and entering manhood. I mean, where are we going to stay? We're all supposed to stay here. There's not even a bathroom. We got leaves and stuff, so. Gross. Which is why Corey and I left it up to him to set up his new house just outside of the Liberty campus. The email said it should be here. John, did you know it wasn't going to be done? You can read the email. Let me see. It's not here. It said the house would be delivered. They have to put it together. I don't get it. It's not, yeah, it, it's going to be a while. On the bright side, we don't have to help him move in and decorate. School starts, like, very soon. We don't have a house. What are we going to do? You can just live on love. No, we need a house. But we should probably revisit the whole entering into manhood talk. Look, all you need is a good, strong tarp. Jace. This will probably be the best thing that ever happened to your marriage. No. But they're newlyweds. They need a few little luxuries. We can just stay in the piece that's here. We're not living here. There's bears. If a bear shows up, kill him and eat him. <laughs> and then tan his fur and use it for a garment. Yeah. No, that no. terrible no. idea. Look at the view. Look at the wood. You can live off the land here. That's OK for a night, but I have a feeling this might be a while. Oh, no. Hey, bear weighs 400 pounds. You can eat on him for about a month. <laughs> Not with no refrigerator, you can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Salt him down. Mary Kate's a brand new Robertson. We got to ease her in. She married a Robertson, hey. The girl already knew what she was in for. All right, look. Maybe we just go see if we can find a condo or something by school. Let this finish. It's just like my marriage. A house is something you care for. Actually, this has not, because this was, this was just poorly planned. So. It was a miscommunication. There you go. It was a miscommunication. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Sorry. So next time, before we drive 1,500 miles, we need to know more about where we're going. That's right. Communicate next time before we take a road trip. All right, everybody know what they're doing. Galwin, you remember your line? Huh? Whatever. All right, let's do our slate. Take four. Lily? Action. I'm the president of the United States, and assassin, you need to go save the princess. You're not the president. You're just a ghoul. Hey, OK, what let's stick to the script, about? OK, kids? OK, now I'm going to go save Mama. No, we're not princess. saving Mama. We're saving the princess, OK? I'm here to save the princess. 
You'll never find a princess. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot him with your laser guns. Wait, 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 wait. I said wait. I caught him. All what? Right. Dude, there's two of you. Doesn't make sense. There's two of me. Yeah, you got to throw it out and not be seen. Let me switch it to slow mo. Okay. Action. Ah! Your head fell off. I mean, your pants slid down. No! That was terrible. You ever think about how something's going to look in your head, and then you try to make it happen, and it goes nothing like what you imagined? That is basically my entire experience of trying to make this movie today. Is this dummy supposed to be Godwin? Well, it was the best thing we could find on such short notice. He's way too skinny. That's not enough. Well, you know the camera adds 10 pounds. Yeah, we need to add 100 pounds. We're talking about Godwin here. He's really, <laughs> really fat. <laughs> He's right out there. Good job, Godwin. It's like having a five-year-old try to draw you. He might get a few things right, but in the end, it's a bunch of squiggly lines, some jacked-up eyes, and one leg's way longer than the other one. Plus, his pants fell down, and it's showing off his little sheeny. It's just weird looking. It is weird. And the head has to explode on contact. It's the whole point of the scene. That is Godwin's prop double right now. It's a jacked up mess. Take six. I think we're going to have to do another take of that. Take seven. Go. No! Three set. Reset. No! Cut! It's like no matter how many times we drop it from the roof, we just can't put it out of its misery. All right, let's reset. Come on, back to one. Here's your arm. You'll pay for this, assassin. Grab his head. Take him back inside. I'll get a part of his head. Let's do it again. Ew, gross. Uh-oh, I broke something. See you, Dad. Or should I say, director? I'm going to tell you a little bit about Liberty. We've got 14,500 students to take classes here on campus, and we've also got... How long is this tour? Well, to see everything that Liberty has to offer, we usually spend about three hours on a tour. Three-hour tour. Oh, we can't do no three-hour tour. What do you mean? Hey, haven't you ever seen Gilligan's Island? What? No. I apologize for him. Hey, look, don't Sorry. apologize. Sorry. That's a sign of weakness. Hey, look, let me tell you something, OK? Education? That's a total waste on these young people. Get I'd like to learn day. more about the school, so can we just, like, keep going? Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Lead the way. Good thing. Lead the way. Why do they get all the good stuff? Hey, how about get a job and work for a living? OK, we're here to learn about the campus. So okay. uh, what about y'all? Do y'all have any more questions that you want to ask I got a them? question. Is there a phone in every room? Everyone has cell phones. Except me. You might find this hard to believe. But hey, yours truly, I never graduated from college. Can I bring Sweet Pea with me? Who is Sweet Pea? That's my cat. She probably couldn't live in the no, can't dorm. no pets. But hey, if I go back to college, hey, it's party time. Hey, y'all got a taco here? A taco? taco? Yeah. It's a a single, single taco? Yeah, a single taco. Your cat eats tacos? Sweet Pea eats anything. He's like a goat. Uh, can you tell hey, me? Hey, what about an ice machine? Can you take that him somewhere, I, please? I can go from building to building when I need an ice refill. I'm not sure if you could bring your tea to class. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no, oh, he's no. out. No. Uh -oh. That's it. He's this out. Go, no, I ain't out. This goes where I go. All right, so it's looking like you're not going to be no, able to be a student in trouble. here. It's looking trouble for this university, OK? All right, how about this? Y'all keep going with the tour, okay. and me and Si will meet you at the yes, end. Yes, that sounds like an awesome Can idea. Good idea. All right, well, we'll see y'all at the end of the tour. If there's any tour. paperwork right, to do, y'all do the uh, paperwork okay. to admit me. I'm going with okay. them. Okay. Uh, well, I'll show you right. the resident. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Have y'all got any open mic nights around here? We sure do. Hey, it's party time. Hey. Your name? Corey. Corey, we talked on the phone. Yes. yes. Nice hey. Hi, John Luke. John Luke, hey. Mary Kate. Mary Kate. Hey, hey. I'm Willie. Well, hey, my name's Obey. I'm the resident assistant here on the Residential Commons One. So, because John Luke and Mary Kate's home is not ready yet, and they literally have nowhere to stay, 
We are checking out the dorm situation on campus. Did you say obey? Yes. We almost named John Luke Trust. Obey. Mm-hmm. You would think Willie would be on his best behavior considering this is John Luke starting a new school, making new friends, trying to find a place to actually live, but no, it would be actually strange if he made it the whole day without embarrassing his son. One of our rooms isn't ready. We have another room available. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, All right, yeah, we'd, love, we'd love to check it out. Yeah, well, let's obey do that. what you say, Obey. All right, let's do it. What do you say? I just hope we can find something for John Luke and Mary Kate on such short notice. Preferably something with a roof and walls. Oh, this is great. This is well, awesome. Well, look at it's, this fancy thing. I don't even think I could fit in this. A little small. Two beds, bunk style. We have two desks, two dressers, two closets. Do you not have any rooms that have like a queen bed or a full bed or? No, it's usually just the, the twin. Do you, sometimes people like sleep two to a bed? Like yeah. if it's like oh, two spoons fit in a one tray of these. Like that. Uh, not usually. Guys are not. Uh, Mary Kate, maybe y'all could just bring the mattress down and put them on the floor. That way y'all could sleep yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. Sleep together. Wait, wait, wait. We really can't have co-ed living on this floor. So, 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 wait, like, so, wait, so, is this just can for we, girls so, or boys? Yeah. This is for boys only. It's... Moving off to college was supposed to be John Luke and Mary Kate's first big step towards being full-fledged adults. Unfortunately, John Luke blew this one. We're married. Yeah. So they can't both stay here. No. Unless Mary Kay wants to get a short haircut and wear some dude clothes, I gotta be honest, I got nothing. Yeah, this is just for two guys. Have you ever seen She's the Man? No. But John Luke is a man now. He should be able to figure this out. Do I look like a guy? I mean, it wouldn't be perfect, but I mean, you could pass. John Luke! And I should really stop overestimating John Luke. This is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Thank you for your help. Hey, yeah. thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. I cannot um, believe you were gonna turn me into a boy. You have been a hot guy. Tell Luke. <laughs>Okay, I'll try. Put a little effort into it for his birthdays. <gasps> okay. Uh, you just look crazy. Well, but that that's kinda could be kind of evil, too. Crazy one. Okay, Martin, what do you I've, got? I've got a question. Is the assassin going to attack the director and take his pants back? Let me talk about my pants. Martin, River's going to punch you in the gut. What? Gut shot. I used to shoot the hunting videos for Duck Commander back in the day, so I know how to shoot a story and ducks. Dad, you got the one line, remember? What do you say? You can't. Thou no shalt. entry. Don't go down this road. Thou shalt not pass. Thou shalt not pass. That's close. But this is like trying to put together a puzzle with pieces that don't quite fit together. Or listen to you when you tell them what to do. Road closed. No one authorized personnel beyond this point. Wrong way. Do not enter. Seats taken. Thou shalt not pass. All right, let's move on. Nonetheless, it's still your job to put the puzzle together. And hopefully in the end, it somehow resembles the picture on the front of the box. Or at least resembles something. All right, we ready? Yeah. Ready? Action! Yeah. Quit playing with the dog. Save me, assassin! Yes. Awesome. You're so cute. You're darling. Mom, you can't tell him he's cute. You, oh. you, you gotta be like... You dirty rat. You dirty rat. Oh, that's You're close. the dirty rat.
You're the rat. Oh, boy. OK, that was a weird death. <laughs> no entry beyond this Please, point. Please, Wizard. Hold on. What? We got to do one more take. Dad, this is the final line. I believe in you. Bub, you ready? Action! Thou shalt not pass. Breathe. Oh, I think I got a cramp. Whoops, may not be. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's down. Yeah. He's down. Good death. Victory! Help me. Help me, bub. Help me, assassin. You're the best assassin in the whole wide world. Run, River. Get it out. Good job. With. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, this is taking forever. All right, guys, we can do that better. One more take. Uh, hey, no. Jeff, no, nah, we're out. Thou shalt not do any more takes. All right, good. Y'all get the tent set up. Kids are in the tents. Adults in the RV. Wait, can I stay in the RV? I'll just sleep in the chair or something. All right, Sadie, you can sleep in the RV. That's all we got room for. Sweet. No, I get the couch. No, Sai, you're not sleeping in the RV. All right, then I'll take one of the captain's chair. Either no. Passenger or the driver. No, Sai, you're not sleeping in the RV. Well, he is. Well, he's an adult. I'm an adult. No, you sleepwalk and you snore. And don't forget about the night terrors. So that basically makes you the triple threat of all sleep disorders. So you're out. Fine. I'll sleep out here in the great outdoors and be the pioneer of the Robertson family. OK, me and the bears. Perfect. Like for real bears? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. for real bears. Like, you really think there are bears? Oh, yeah, there are bears around here. Oh, there are bears here. There are bears. Back bears. I'm not afraid to get eaten by a bear, OK? As long as Willie's with us, hey, all the rest of us have nothing to fear. Because, look, hey, that's a dinner bell standing, ringing, OK? Look, hey, I'm telling you, you're all safe, OK? We got the prime rib over here, OK? <laughs> the bear will choose him first, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, boys. OK. Get mauled by a bear, OK? Now, that's an entirely different story. Oh, he'll tear you up something fierce, OK? He'll probably even kill you. John Luke ain't got no problem either. He's skinny. But he probably won't eat you. I'm starving. We got some hot dogs? We got some food. All right, I'll get the food. Yeah, I should have known you brought food everywhere you go. He's got baked beans and marshmallows. Then I guarantee you somewhere in there, he's got some ice cream stored away somewhere. We've got good, fresh beans hot off the grill. And I, I'd say so myself. They pretty good. I'm not going to test that out. So I'm not putting anything inside my body that you have handled, right. looked at, or touched. These are gourmet here, I'm telling you. What are we going to do about a house? Well, I think we got an idea. We're going to leave the RV here, and you guys can live in it until the house is built. And we're going to fly home. Well, this is really going to help your marriage. Yeah. Some, sometimes you need a little adversity. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But if you die, all bets are off. OK. You're not helping. Right. What do you mean? I think we can do it. And you pretty much have no other choice. <laughs> Now we have time, we can stop back through Nashville and see Colt's show. Yeah. Yeah. Who's in? Fine. I'm in. All right, John Luke, you're going to drive us to the airport, and then you can come back and set it all up. All right, boys, let's leave this dump. Sir, this is not what? a dump. This is John Luke America's house. Well, I mean, hey, it was a figure of speech, OK? Sir. Now look, I got some friends of mine in the house. Duck Commander is in the house tonight, baby. Really. These people want to see you up here. Y'all make some noise. What's going on? What's up? So I'm going to tell y'all something. Cy said he wants to be in the record business. He even got a new name for himself. He loves playing cards, y'all, so he calls himself Royal Flush. I'm gonna just let you do your thing. I'll be back here. Look here, okay? I normally sing, but in honor of this man right here, I'm gonna try to rap. I think you got it. 
Cue up that music, boys. Hey, my name is Royal Floyd, and look, they call me that because look, I'm a poker playing fiend and king. The dealer deals out two cards to Mr. Fox. Cy has been going on and on about his music career for the entire trip. And now that he's on stage, I have to admit, he's got some sort of watchable quality, like a car wreck on the side of the road. The fly pimps aboard, and they say queens. I guess sometimes you just have to slow down and listen to a senior citizen rap about a poker hand. Royal Flush, you got a queen. I done flopped and stole gold nuts. I may regret this, but I also don't want to hear about it for the rest of my life. Hey, look out, Jack. Oh, shake it, shake it. Oh, my goodness. Look at them legs. Oh. I'm done. All right. Look at a royal flush out. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, I want to thank y'all for participating in the movie and just, you know, supporting arts. I thought it was Rivers, maybe. Yeah, me too. We did something really cool um, that River will remember the rest of his life. I know I will. And, you know, I think he had a great director. Um, a humble one. I'd like to kind of give a special thanks um, to the people who's inspired me. Um, Steven Spielberg. Ah. Um, Okay. Any Denzel movie, I love them all. Okay. Um, JCVD. Who's uh, that? Jean Claude Van Damme. Bloodsport. I mean, that that's really. I think that's really kind of what inspired this whole thing. What about us? Your kids, your mom. You guys and I. did did pretty good. But I mean, Chung Lee was like the best bad guy ever. Kumite. I'm proud of everybody that worked on this movie today, especially myself. I'd like you to uh, sit back and enjoy the director's cut. It's just a home movie. What are the Assassin. You taking this thing to Sundance or something? If anybody doesn't like it, they're just not sophisticated. But this movie is freaking awesome. Mostly due to an awesome writer and director. And my family did an OK job. Jeff, we knew you had it. I've told myself that many a night. When you were younger, we thought it was just weird. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> this is like a regulation viewing, ain't it? Here we go. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. 20, 30, Why have you got it 80. in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody used their thesaurus. A devastating nuclear war has left the human race under. Oh. Boom. At what point was I a robot? This is a reading movie. The super hot princess. <laughs> it still got words coming up. Hyper karate. Hyper karate, I made that. Did up. you film any action? Laser punches. This... Oh. Is Bro, this... what how much right? Is this uh, it? Are you gonna show good. the footage or is this a novel? Hey son, you gotta build up here. <laughs> Feel right. Oh boy. Ready? <laughs> The assassin! Oh. That's what it says. That just hits you in the teeth. Help! Right help, there. assassin! You're the only one that can save me! He help! can't save you help! now! No! Help! You'll help! never get help! away! Yeah, you'll never get away! You're never getting away! What's up with your voice? <laughs> I'm the President of the United States, and it says that you need to go save the princess. I'm here to save the princess. You'll never find a princess! Oh! oh, oh laser beams! Yeah, oh. 25. Oh. 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 You oh. dropped your pants. <laughs> Got one. This is PG-13 right here. Oh. That's all of it. Poor fella. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, there goes the white goatee. No! No, don't pick it up. I got one his head. This is where it gets graphic. Shut your eyes, Mom. No. Oh. <laughs> You'll pay for this, assassin. Oh, the brains went everywhere. 
Did you hear that sound effect? Yeah, it was awesome. Ooh. Hero shot. Look at this. Oh, there's your hero. Oh, good grief. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that round I wish I could do a yes. cartwheel like that. Woo! You dirty rat. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty rat. rat. Super pump. Oh. He missed on that one. I'm melting! Come on, assassin! Save the princess! You're next. Oh, nice. Bring it, you assassin. Get in. Get in. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Thou shalt not pass. Green! Oh! Yes! Look, beef fries. Help me, assassin. Watch your super speed, buddy. You're so oh, you fast, You got some Remember? effects in there. Thanks, I did. assassin, for saving me. Oh, you oh. I love you. Oh. You made up when you're down. Good job, buddy. Hey, Lily and Jeff. Oh, Lily and Jeff. And Jeff, based on a dream. I thought it was River's dream. And the stars of the show are the last thing you see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, by the way, these guys. These guys were here. All I can say is you're welcome. For what? You're welcome. We helped you make this. At least I don't have to worry about being in the sequel. Thanks, Dad. It was more writing than it was picture showing. So what did you think? It was awesome. Thank you, buddy. Wow. That's who matters right here. <laughs> the very own movie. I think we should watch it again. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're good. I second we're good. that, Merritt. Go past all that reading part. Lord, we thank you so much for River. He's a great kid, great son, and a good brother. Lord, I also pray for John Luke and Mary Kate traveling. And, uh, Bob, can you say your prayer? Dad and thank you for my friends. Amen. 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 One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Let's get on Yay. this dog on pizza. I'll tell you one wow. thing. Wow. 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 We've been fortunate as a family to have the chance to take part in so much. From hunting trips to concerts, we've really been blessed with some unique experiences. But seeing my own son grow up, get married, and start college, is really all a proud father could ask for. And while I'll always be there for him, I look forward to seeing how he does on his own, hopefully with a fully constructed home in the near future. I call it toast to good living. Living off love. And beans. So basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?